Welcome to Edwards Air Force Base, home of the Air Force Flight Test Center. Avweb came here to meet Major Desmond Brophy, call sign Deuce. Deuce is a Canadian Forces experimental test pilot on exchange with the U.S. Air Force. He tests F-16s with the 416th Flight Test Squadron at Edwards. Okay, great. Here we are out in the uh, flight line at the 416th Flight Test Squadron. And what you see behind me is, uh, is F-16 tail number 445. This is one of uh, the unique test F-16s that we have at Edwards Air Force Base. These aircraft are specifically instrumented for the flight tests that we do here at Edwards. Uh, we can go ahead and have a look up inside. Okay, here we are inside the cockpit of one of our test F-16s at Edwards Air Force Base. As you can see, it's a fairly uh, tight cockpit in the F-16. There's not, not a lot of room. Uh, it's likely difficult from this camera angle to tell, but the seat of the aircraft is tilted 30 degrees back, and that's uh, to help accommodate the, the high G levels that the airplane's capable of. 9G, the idea is to reduce the height between the brain and the heart uh, in an effort to uh, increase G tolerance. One of the main features of the F-16 that you see with my right hand here is a side stick controller. There's no traditional center stick. And of course, with a highly augmented airplane like the F-16, I'm actually not moving in a traditional way ailerons and uh, elevators and such. Simply, I'm putting my inputs in through a force transducer that the flight control computer interprets and moves whatever controls it deems appropriate. The seat that I'm sitting on is a, is a zero, zero capability ejection seat, which means that I can, you can eject on the ground with uh, zero airspeed, and that's what this yellow handle is right in between my legs. Designed such that under heavy G loading, you're still able to uh, grab it. Another feature that you might see on the right-hand side is essentially a couple of uh, levers that pop out that will prop up my arm. Now, that's not just for pure pilot comfort. It becomes a necessity under 9G. Uh, some of the other displays that we're looking at, primarily we have the heads-up display, uh, which uh, again provides the same uh, sort of information that we'd see on our joint helmet-mounted cueing system. The keypad right in front of me is essentially my interface with the uh, flight control computer of the, uh, excuse me, of the, with the mission computer of the aircraft. It allows me to enter navigational steer points, weapons information, etc. The two displays that you see above my right and left knees, uh, these are what will provide uh, all sorts of uh, information uh, as required at certain phases of the flight. It could be a horizontal situation indicator, it could be the stores management system showing the weapons available, maybe my radar could be the output from my targeting pod uh, TV or, or infrared Im uh, generated images. Uh, in between my leg is a traditional HSI, horizontal situation indicator, with uh, TACAN information, ILS information, etc. On the left-hand side is, uh, is a uh, full HOTAS uh, hands-on throttle and stick uh, throttle, which controls the single uh, GE engine in the airplane, which gives about 29,000 pounds of thrust. And uh, the airplane is in that weight category, 29,000 pounds, when you've removed uh, the uh, air-to-ground ordnance, uh, so it gives us a pretty good uh, thrust-to-weight ratio. Uh, other than that, we have traditional uh, controls for the canopy as well as for the landing gear. Another interesting thing about the F-16 is there's no separate flap handle. Uh, the control of the flaps is essentially integrated through the landing gear handle. So we raise the gear and the gear comes up and the trailing edge flaps come up. We put the gear handle down, the gear comes down and the trailing edge flap goes down. What impressed me right away with the F-16, two things that really impressed me right away were the amazing, the first thing was the amazing amount of thrust that these motors have. Just, it is an unimaginable kick when the, uh, when the afterburner engages. Just an amazing amount of thrust in this aircraft. It'll still accelerate right 300 knots. It'll still accelerate at high G levels. Second thing that's very impressive and you can't see in this particular shot is the canopy. There is no reinforcing structure. It is a single piece bubble canopy and uh, essentially when you lower that canopy it's like you're riding a rocket and you, it feels like you're sitting on top of the airplane and you've got an unrestricted field of view. So it's pretty impressive in that way. AppWeb thanks the United States Air Force, the 416th Flight Test Squadron, and the good people at Edwards Air Force Base who made this inside look possible. Thanks for watching.